Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, through the weekend, we had uh, the update and also a new version of Microsoft Edge web browser. So if you go to your Edge browser and go into the upper right corner, three horizontal dots, and then you go help and feedback uh, in about Microsoft Edge, you will be moved on to 125.0.2535.51. So this is an interesting update. It doesn't really have much in front-facing features, but what it has is a fix for a zero-day security flaw. Now we've uh, both we've we've heard here on the channel that last week Chrome in several days had three zero-day flaws that were exploited already in the wild by bad guys that were fixed. And all three of them are also in Chromium browsers, which means that Edge, Brave, Opera, and all of that are to be fixed is extremely important uh, because of these three zero days that are exploited. And they're easy to exploit too. So even if you don't use Microsoft Edge, I will say that you have to update because this is what's going to keep you uh, safe because sometimes you have noticed maybe that clicking some link, including if you click on that picture in the text and the picture on the, the lock screen, uh, it opens with Microsoft Edge rather than opening with your favorite browser. So that's why it's important to make sure that it is also uh, up to date on your system so that uh, you stay safe. Somebody asked me about why I don't talk about Firefox. Well, maybe you didn't notice, but I talk about Firefox browser security updates and updates in general in a separate video because it is a different engine. It's the only browser on Windows that just isn't using uh, Chromium. Um, so this is uh, why I actually do also a video and a separate video for Firefox. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.